Hi there, uh, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Uh, my name is Rabbit, I use they them pronouns, and today's video is all about my costume rack. Yeah, that's right, this is it. This is a pan over of my costume rack. I wanted to make a video about it because I've been making costumes since I was 16. It's been super fun for me. All of them have been like kind of DIY and like with thrifted materials. So um, if you want to see all my like weird fantasy non-professional amateur costumes that I've made, keep watching. So to start, we have this floral fairy costume. Um, I'll put a picture of it next to me so you can see it in its full glory. Um, but basically, this was a costume that I made for my friend Gerhardt for um, this thesis that I did at university. Uh, the concept of it was like a floral fairy, a floral fae kind of moment. Um, this is the headpiece for it. It's like a flower crown kind of thing um, with like a lot of layers, you know? Um, and it also has a little choker necklace with like little um, flowers um, from clay that I made on it. So that dress was just supposed to be like super fun and florally. This is the shirt that goes with the skirt. Um, it's basically like a tight velvet tube top with these sleeves that are made out of curtains and have a bunch of flowers on them. So it's like a little off the shoulder cuff kind of moment. Um, and I just made the shirt from a tube top out of like another velvet shirt from the thrift store. So next I have a night sky costume that I made um, that was actually for myself in my project, which wasn't, I wasn't planning on doing that. I just like had to social distance at the end of my project and couldn't have models. So that's why it's for me. It wasn't originally gonna be, but that was like a school thing that I did. So, so I have a bunch of like silver and clay jewelry that I made. For this costume, these are the earrings. These are some necklaces that I made. It's like a little moon face. And this is a belt. It has like these moon baubles at the end. Um, it has arm warmers that are made out of curtains again with some stars on the bottom and lace kind of stretchy pieces at the top and some like kind of little pearl thingies. <laughs> this is the dress. It is embroidered with constellations on the bottom. It's a sleeveless, um, kind of like blue, midnight blue prom dress that I found at the thrift store and just put all these stars and embroideries onto and it kind of like shifts in the light and I think it's super pretty. Um, yeah, my boyfriend took some pictures of me in the dress for my final project and it was wonderful. Um, these are the shoes. They have a bunch of stars and stuff on them. And this is the headpiece. It's got like a moon and a bunch of stars and stuff on one side. In the back, it's supposed to look like clouds with like pearls in it. There we go. So that's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like on. So it's like, yeah, that's that. Next we have my moth costume that I made for my friend Sophie. So first is um, the necklace that I actually broke this morning when I was setting up, so that sucks, but uh, it's like a cool moth necklace. We've got a skirt that looks like it's been eaten by moths and it's like wool. And I just found it at the thrift store. I volunteered it at the time that I was making this costume. These are some armbands that I made for it. They're fuzzy on the top and they've got this like cool scarfy kind of thing and some lace on the bottom. The leg warmers I made are brown and lacy and they're made partly out of a skirt. This is the dress that I made for the moth costume. It is uh, stained with coffee and I have like little ties um, that are made of lace on it. It was originally a skirt and I just made it into a dress. And this is the cape for my moth costume. It was originally a mouse-eaten blanket, and the blanket got eaten by mice because I left it in my car, and my car had mice in it, so whatever. Um, basically, I decided to make it into this mothy looking cape. Maybe that's gross, I'm sorry if it is. Um, it has a bunch of lace on the bottom, and inside I lined it with like the same scarf of the um, uh, arm warmers. This is 
the blanket looked like on the inside. And yeah, I just acrylic painted the outside. The hood is really fuzzy and has like a long fuzzy piece. It's super cute. So my moth costume also includes these shoes with like yellow moth eyes and some spots on them. They're just boots that I painted with acrylic paint and this headpiece that has like these really beautiful flowers and gems on it and like paper moths and like feathers, cotton, the back looks like that. And it's supposed to be kind of like flapper girly, but also like antennas of a moth. So that's what that is. Just put you there. Uh, the next costume is this like mushroom costume that I made for my friend Amanda, who uses they them pronouns. Um, so it's basically a vintage nightgown that I added a lot of lace to and um, just like ruffles and flowers to make it look like the frills of a mushroom. Um, so it was modeled after an Amanita muscaria mushroom, which means of course we need our cap. So this cap is basically just made out of recycled cardboard and it's like just a big cool mushroom hat. I love it and I think it's super cool. I also have a video about, um, where I do my mushroom like fey makeup so if it looks familiar that's probably what it's from. If you want to make your own I highly recommend you do. The tutorial that I used to make mine was from Cardboard Collective but I used fabric instead of cardboard. This is the jewelry that I made for my friend Amanda's costume. It's like mushrooms on an agate with mushrooms around it and these little earrings that are mushrooms that I made out of clay. So that was fun. This was the skirt that was um, part of the mushroom costume. It's just like a bunch of layered and stitched. This was supposed to look like roots stitched on and like it has leaves. It's just like a big fun lacy skirt with like a million layers and lots of cool bits and bobs. So that's what that is. Um, next, this is super cool in my opinion. This was a costume for my friend Okongo and it's supposed to be a sun costume. So this is the cape for it. It was basically a big bed sheet that I turned into a cape, added a bunch of little like sequins and stars to. This is like the inside, beautiful, my opinion. It's supposed to look like kind of the sky in the day. And um, it lights up. Like that's so cool, right? I don't know, I think it's awesome. I'll insert some pictures because it looks really cool in my opinion. Um, this is the shirt for it. It's just like a knit shirt that I painted some glitter onto. This is the choker I made for it that um, unfortunately I forgot to include in pictures which sucks, <laughs> but um, that's what it was supposed to look like. Uh, on here we have the wristbands for it, um, this weird little cape thing, and the pants for the costume, which were the bane of my existence, because to make them I had to use like these long thin strips of gold satin, which was just like sewing water, and like this is the back of them, like they look like a diaper, they're horrible, they have so much unnecessary stitching. I just hate them. It was my first time making pants with like really unideal materials and I was very bitter about it the whole time. So, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, so this is tangled as all ever, but this is <laughs> the um, headpiece for the sun costume. It's basically like a piece of cardboard with gift wrap attached onto it and then I painted it and then attached all these like sparkles and this clay sun that I made and all these like pearls and these are chopsticks dipped in glitter and gold paint and these are um, coat hangers that I turned into kind of sun rays and it's supposed to just be like very opulent and gorgeous but made out of like materials that's what it looks like I'll insert a better picture of it in like its actual form um, but that's that uh, this is like a part of my Draculaura costume. Uh, just whatever, it's fine. <laughs> um, here is this dragon vest. I didn't make this, I found it at a fair. Uh, it was like on sale because it was the last like 20 minutes of the 
market. So the dragon vest, I made some stuff to go with it, including little like uh, lizard print, snake print, booty shorts, and this like shoulder piece that is two things of like crow feathers. I think it's kind of cool. It also has these like leg warmers. Wait, no, this is the skirt. It's just like this cool texture that I ripped up. Um, and these are the leg warmers that are velvet and that same snake print of the booty shorts. So that's the dragon costume. Okay, so the next costume is this cherry blossom costume I made for myself a long time ago. So it's got, okay, let's just take things off the hanger. This is just like a pink bra that I put a bunch of flowers on. I have a tutorial about how I made it on Tumblr. This is just like green elastic with a bunch of cherry blossoms on it. I wrap it around my legs or my arms. And this is the skirt that I made for the costume. Um, I'll put some pictures that my friend Chosen took of me in this costume because it was super fun. Um, these are the shoes. They're like little velvet pink um, heels with like little cherry blossoms um, on them. So I like that a lot. Next, we have this cool vest I made that's supposed to be like, just like a cool pelt kind of thing. It has all these little things like bells and wrapped stones and pieces of leather and um, bullets and jars of spices and stuff on this side and like buttons and coins and other <laughs> similar things on this side. The back has my hands on it. Um, the bottom is really like ripped and has like a lot of stitching um, with like seashells and stuff. So on, sorry for the jingling. It looks like this probably would look better without the thing under it, but whatever. I'll show a picture. This is a skirt that I made to go kind of with a bunch of different costumes. Um, just kind of like a foresty skirt. I made it by um, taking a bunch of different materials and literally just stringing them through the loops of this belt. So it's cool. Next I have a bunch of like foresty green bras. So the first one I ever made was a nude bra with um, ivy leaves all attached to it. Green fringe. So that's what that looks like. It's kind of fun. This one is like a bikini top with um, green fabric, um, some seashells on the bottom, and like this leafy kind of texture pattern, whatever. This is a green and white lace and flower bra. So it's got all these really pretty flowers on it and all these little pretty scraps of lace and this pearl thing goes like across and it's really cute. It broke a while ago, but I'll show a picture of it where it was intact maybe. Um, what else? These are leg warmers that I basically made out of the sleeves of the vest I showed earlier. Just like took the sleeve, turned it inside out. Fuzzy leg warmers, kabam. There's the other one. I also added leaves to the top of them. Just hot glue, you know. Okay, this is a cool, like kind of swampy mermaid skirt. I'll put a picture of it where it actually does it justice because basically it's like open in the front but closed in the back and you can like wear it around the sides and it's very cool. Also like some weird like Halloween cloth literally from the Dolly Shore that I use as a shawl with that um, costume. So then my best friend, they were the first person I made a costume for for my thesis. I made a night sky or no, a night and day kind of like dawn dusk costume for them. So this is the bottom of it. And guess what? With this dress, that's right, it lights up. Can you even see that in this light? There's lights in it that are lit up inside. But basically the bottom is like this really cool translucent like tool with like clouds on it. Then I painted this big like sun with like clouds. And the top is like a beautiful like shiny blue color that my friend, it's their favorite color. 
friends non-binary. They're my best friend. I love them so much. They're so cool. And I made this costume for them. This is the shirt for their costume. It's like blue velvet. And I put a bunch of sequins on it just with fabric glue. And this is the necklace that I made for them. It has moonstone and agate and chain. And it kind of like, you know, like drips down um, under the chest. It's cool. This is the cape. It's like blue and night sky on one side and then like orange and supposed to be like the day on the other side. And this is the headpiece I made for Ren's costume. It lights up on the outside. It's like this blue wizard cap with like all these clouds and like it's got a star, um, sorry, a moon on one side and a sun on the other and all these like drip droppy um, pearls all around it. Sorry, that's the battery pack. It broke in travel, so. But it looks like that, basically. Um, I'll show a better picture of it, but it's like a cool thing, for sure. So, while I'm here, I'll show you really quick the costumes I didn't make, but I would still consider costume rack worthy. First is this red velvet, um, like kind of dance costume that's tool on the bottom and see-through and I love it so much. I found it at the thrift store when I used to work there or volunteer there and it's like kind of off the shoulder with like these freaking roses. It was $10. Like I was like thrift store gods love me today. Like I was blessed. It was crazy. I can't believe that happened, you know? Um, what else? Thanks again so much for tuning in with me today. I really appreciate your time. Just uh, a reminder that uh, clothes don't have any gender or age or weight or any kind of requirements. You can be anything and wear whatever you like and you will look awesome. In other news, have an amazing rest of your day. If you would like to like and subscribe to my channel, like this video and subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. Thanks anyway for watching till the end. That's like very cool of you and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and that's all I got for you. So bye!